Today we have Mikey Dubs, a local marathon runner who just competed in the Boston Marathon and of course did quite well as you can see by this medal. And so thank you so much for being with us, with us today, Mikey. Yeah, thanks for having me uh, on here. All right, Mikey, so let's start. Um, how did you become a marathon runner? What kind of what gave you the passion and when did you kind of start up as a marathon runner? So I started running just because I, I suffered from a knee injury during uh, competitive soccer and I wanted uh, to kind of do a you versus you uh, mentality thing and one of the things when I was researching what's, a, what's an active sport that you can do that's just kind of you challenging yourself and running came up and um, you know I did a little bit of track and field in high school uh, nothing like major and so I slowly just kind of you know took on running you know 500 meters a kilometer at a time and uh, yeah it just kind of grew from there I really liked uh, where, 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 what it did for me mentally and physically so um, yeah that's, that's basically the starting point of how I became a runner. <laughs> And so kind of what were those first like major kind of competition runs that you began with kind of back when you were younger and kind of getting out of high school and stuff like that? So in high school I like I specialized in 100 meters, uh, long jump and high jump. So nothing really with distance, nothing with endurance. Um, and then when I started running um, about three years ago, um, some of the accomplishments was like, you know, just trying to get, you know, 500 meters, trying to like get a kilometer. Um, I remember I was explaining this to a run group last night. Uh, my biggest accomplishment I remember still to this day when I started running was when I accomplished a four kilometer run. I remember getting home and being like, I just, uh, I set a bar I thought so high for myself just doing four kilometers, like wasn't even a 5k and I was just thrilled. So it, it's such a, it was such a small goal at the initial like time of starting to run and you know, it just, like I said, everyone, it eventually grows. Like we all start somewhere, right? So that's, uh, that's kind of my running, you know, kind of starting point uh, from high school and I took a lot of time off. Um, I was big into snowboarding and wakeboarding and those things, so I didn't do much with endurance sports at all. And literally, it was just after an injury in competitive soccer that I, I took up uh, the running kind of endeavor. Okay, and so you've obviously done plenty of races since then. Uh, tell me how you kind of got set up and started thinking about going all the way down to Boston, Massachusetts for the Boston Marathon, kind of that process of getting set up to go down there. So, uh, you know, I started with a 5K, 10K, and then we had a period in life where you know everything shut down, so a lot of races were canceled. So I didn't get too much uh, um, kind of exposure to uh, the marathon distances. Um, the first race that I could attend in person after that shutdown time was 100K. So I actually signed up and I did a uh, 100K race. So I kind of missed that that kind of milestone of like you know doing 510. I did a 21, and then I missed the full marathon, and then I went straight to 100K. So then once I did the 100K, I did a few more uh, 100Ks, like ultra marathons. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people said to me, you've got to experience Boston. And uh, the one thing that I find beautiful with Boston is not just anyone can go sign up. You have to qualify with a time um, that's preset for your age bracket. Um, and then uh, depending on what your time is, then you have to uh, apply for it and see if they'll accept you. So it wasn't something where you just put your name in a lottery and hope that they draw it. It was something that you actually had to, you know, be strategic about. You had to train and you had to prepare for it. And then you had to race a prelim race to qualify, which I think is, uh, you know, one of the biggest takeaways from going to Boston was, that's what everyone said. It was the qualifier to get to Boston. Now that you're in Boston, enjoy the Boston run. Because you've already done what you could to get here and you've proved that you can run and there there's set guidelines. So now that you're at Boston, there's no set guidelines. It's about just absorb the environment and, you know, and, and enjoy the, the, what's happening here, so. Okay, and so then tell me a little bit about the Boston Marathon. Everybody kind of knows about the Boston Marathon. It's probably the most famous marathon in the world, but how long is the Boston Marathon? And then how do you compete in order, like how do you, what's the kind of guideline, especially in order to get the medal there? So uh, it's 42.2 kilometers, uh, a standard marathon. Um, Boston's a little bit more challenging. It's not flat. Um, it's known to be a bit of a harder course because the fluctuation in temperature. Uh, the first half of the course is all primarily downhill. And then once you kind of crest that halfway point, then it's a slow, gradual climb uh, to the finish line. Um, there's a few hills. There's one um, you know, famous hill that they call Heartbreak Hill. And it's this kind of like, it's, it's a little bit more of a, extreme climb, uh, I believe it's at about mile 22, uh, no, mile 18. And so at that point, you're already kind of exhausted. You're getting to the point where you're depleted and now you've got to climb a hill after you've been running downhill for so long. Um, so um, going back to it, you know, so it's 42.2, um, it's downhill then uphill. So it's not a nice, flat, easy course. Um, it's known to have a lot of headwind. Um, 
in a nutshell, like you basically, it's you. Uh, the starting point is you line up with you know 35,000 plus people. Um, you're kind of in corrals depending on your qualifying time, and it it's just it's it's like having all of Lloyd Minster plus another Lloyd Minster standing in a four block radius from wall to wall four lane and everyone shoulder to shoulder extremely nervous and extremely excited all at the same time waiting for that gun to go off and the best part is like you know in that fleet of runners at the front of the line there's you know the world's best like guys that hold world records uh, attended this year like their elite class of uh, athletes that came down this year was next to none so it was actually really it's quite uh, it's quite neat to experience that you got to start a race with like you know Elliot Kapoji who's won you know many gold medals has world records has beat the two-hour marathon you know like he's his thing is no humans limited so it uh, that, that was probably almost more uh, amazing as a runner to experience that awesome awesome and then yes of course an excellent medal here that you won I'm, I'm very impressed with the horse and the unicorn medallion that Boston Athletics has but uh, thank you so much for being with us today Mikey and telling us about the Boston Marathon and um, congratulations once again to you uh, for the marathon run. Thank you very much.